You likely already know about how administrators can use IAM policies to lock down who has access to specific resources within their organizational control. However, it is also important for administrators to consider the resources and data their users might access that sit in an unauthorized Google Cloud organization. Introducing organization restrictions that helps administrators to restrict users' access to only resources in authorized Google Cloud organizations. Why is this feature important? Well, in fact, there are many avenues of attack and opportunities for data exfiltration, which must be considered when evaluating and strengthening your security posture. Take, for instance, this potential phishing attempt, where a bad actor can create a rogue organization and grant all of your company's employees access to this rogue organization. This bad actor is hoping one of your company employees mistakes this organization with your company's organization and mistakenly uploads company sensitive data there. In another attack scenario, a malicious insider could deploy their own rogue Google Cloud organization, grant their corporate identity access to this rogue organization via IAM policy and exfiltrate corporate data to this destination. Effectively, security administrators cannot prevent employee identities from accessing resources outside of their corporate organization in Google Cloud. Fortunately, you can now use organization restrictions to help mitigate these risks by setting guardrails on what resources principals in your organization are allowed to interact with, regardless of where they are granted access via IAM policies. To use organization restrictions, your employees must connect to Google Cloud through managed devices, such as company laptops, which are configured to send all of their internet traffic through an egress proxy managed by your security administrators. This egress proxy adds an organization restrictions header to any Google Cloud bound requests originating from these managed devices. This proxy configuration allows security administrators to specify a list of authorized Google Cloud organizations and prevents users from accessing any Google Cloud resources in non-authorized organizations. Commonly, organization restriction headers can be set up to satisfy a variety of use cases. Restrict employee access to resources only in your Google Cloud organizations and disallow access to resources in other organizations. Allow your employees to access a vendor Google Cloud organization in addition to your Google Cloud organization. Or give Corp employees access to partner consulting organizations. To get started with this feature, visit our documentation we've linked in the description. There, you can learn more about egress proxy prerequisite requirements, additional configuration options, and Google Cloud services which support organization restrictions enforcement. Need to test this before you have your egress proxy set up? Check out our test guide, which we also linked in the description. Thanks for watching and learning how to better protect your company from data exfiltration with organization restrictions.